first practice at the 2014 Northwest 200. Brilliant sunshine, perfectly dry racetrack. Super Sport 600s, the first bikes away in this session. 34, you're looking at there. Alistair Seeley looking to add to his tally of 10 wins around this circuit. Not lucky in this session, though. A few problems and third fastest. While Michael Rutter surprised everyone with the Smiths Triumph 675, pushing the triple up into second spot on the leaderboard. Not everyone had a fault this afternoon at the Northwest. Guy Martin just running deep on the brakes, not onto the grass here. Ian Hutchinson overran the Mill Road roundabout, went off to hospital for a checkup. But he came back 100% fit, although that's more than you can say for the bike. And what about this? Local fans delighted to see that William Dunlop on his new Taiko Suzuki was the quickest man on a 600 around the circuit this afternoon for provisional pole position. Top three in just a couple of seconds. Dunlop's time, 4.41. Point four. And then it's time for the super bikes. The big machines are out. Guy Martin still looking for a big bike win around here. Seeley and McGuinness have shared those over the past few years, but John McGuinness is injured, so maybe this is going to be Guy Martin's time. Seeley, of course, looking to add another big bike win to his portfolio. Second fastest, just ahead of Guy Martin. But here's a surprise. Who was in provisional pole position at the end of the first 45 minutes on the nine-mile triangle around the northwest coast? Answer, it was the old boy himself, Michael Rutter. 1.6 seconds faster than anybody else. Surprise, yes, but maybe we shouldn't be. He could leave this racetrack this weekend with more wins than anybody else, even Robert Dunlop. Super Twins are up next in this session. The class that Ryan Farquhar created and in a master class display, he gave Connor being a complete demonstration of how to do it and showing that with win number 200 under his belt, he hasn't lost his hunger. And while those two went round in formation, it was a KMR clean sweep. Keith Amor topped the timesheets to make it a 1-2-3 for the Orange Kawasaki's. In a field of 26 bikes, there are just five Suzuki's here, and the rest of them all wearing the Kawasaki badge, but you'd have to say that the winner on Saturday ought to come from that top three. Last on track are the Superstock machines. Again, this is a class dominated by names who didn't get anywhere near the top ten. Stevie Thompson was the third quickest qualifier. Jamie Hamilton was one of several who had problems in this session. And we ended up with a top ten that didn't include John McGuinness, Bruce Ansley or Michael Dunlop, but it did include Michael Rutter. Once again, second fastest and riding it like he was on his first ever visit to the Northwest and looking for that elusive first win. Michael Rutter very much on form this weekend. But what about this? What a surprise. Second visit to the Northwest 200 for Austria's Horst Seiger. First time he's seen it in the dry, and he went straight to the top of the timesheets. He was a couple of hundredths quicker than Michael Rutter.